Hi, Jonathan Schrager here for Woe TV. I'm here today with UFC light heavyweight Jimmy Manua, uh, just outside the O2 where Conor McGregor fights on Saturday night, UFC Dublin. How are we doing, Jimmy? Um, I'm doing great. It's a lovely day today. I'm just absorbing all the Irish culture and uh, enjoying the view. Lovely. And, and um, when you say Irish culture, do you mean Guinness and black pudding or, or you know, what, what, what do you mean? I'm just... I'm just uh, Appreciating the, the being in Ireland, I, I, I like Ireland, Irish people, and everything. So it's great to actually be here and meet the actual, actual people on, on on their turf. And uh, you know, I'm gonna have a few pints of Guinness, not too much, but <laughs> I'll keep it moderate. Okay, fantastic. And and obviously Saturday night, um, uh, we see Conor McGregor, who's fast becoming one of the, the stars of the UFC really obviously he's, he's a great talker great orator um, are you excited about what Connor's doing for, for UK and Irish MMA generally in terms of putting it on the map do you know what before I, w I wasn't but um, now I actually am yeah, he's, he's uh, sold out a great event uh, in his home turf and everything and uh, you know he, he's, he's a big character which some people may like, some people may not like and everything, but he's got, got to actually do the business. I believe he will do on Saturday and um, I'm, 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 I'm wishing him all the best. Okay, but I mean, maybe to the casual MMA fan, um, the perception is that they brought this guy over here, Diego Brandao, to sort of be rolled over, you know, as a showcase for Connor. But to, to the to the more discerning MMA fan, and obviously fighters like yourself that know the sport inside and out, we know that this guy is a serious challenge that they brought over here, Diego Brandao, especially when he's focused. Yeah, definitely, he's got two sides. Sometimes he shows up, sometimes he doesn't show up. But um, I just I, I'm just hoping for a great fight. I hope he doesn't roll over and say half a round or something. I hope it's a great fight. Goes a couple of rounds, maybe three, or something. So um, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping for a great fight. He, I don't I don't think any fighter in the in in the in the UFC is going to roll over. That they're in the UFC for a reason. So we're, we're the best fighters in the world. So, you know, I, I shouldn't expect him to roll over and that. But, um, you know, I'm just hoping for a great fight. It's going to be electric in, in the O2 and that. And I'm um, looking forward to it. Absolutely. And is, is there any other fights on the card that stick out for you or any fighters you're interested in uh, in watching? Yeah, two more. I want to see um, my mate Gunnar Nelson do the business. He's, he's, he's got a tough fight in um, he's fighting the American wrestler and that. And uh, my good mate Brad Pickett as well. And Norman Park as well, definitely. I'll, I'll be um, I'll be hyped for their fights as well. Okay, I mean, obviously, there's been a little bit of tension back and forth on social media between Brad and, and Ian. Seems that Ian's got under Brad's skin a little bit more than vice versa. Obviously, you, you know Brad. Um, do you think he's going to be able to contain those emotions and, and put in a productive performance on Saturday night? Brad puts in nothing but productive um, performances when he fights and that's why that's why he's my man I, I, I'm a fan of his as well so you know I expect nothing less from him I think he will do the, do the business and I hope he gets the title shot after this to be the to to be mate in in the chance of, of, of getting a belt okay and Norman as well I mean Norman He's obviously a very technical, very talented fighter, but um, someone who's gone to decision in all his fights so far in the UFC. Has he? Um, pretty sure, yeah. He's so far but prior to the UFC. All the, yeah. I think he, he finished most of his fights via yeah. submission. But obviously, he's come to the UFC and he's a bit more cautious, maybe. Okay. Um, are you looking forward to seeing Norman maybe open up a little bit? It sounds like he's got a bit more intent heading into Saturday night. Yeah, definitely, man. It, like I love his style. He, he mixes things up at, um, a lot, and you know I, I hope he I hope he does get the finish. But I can I can relate to him because fighters in the UFC are a lot more harder to finish and stuff like that. Like I said before, we're the best fighters in the world, so it's hard. It's really hard to finish finish a fight. But um, you know I hope he, he's got he's got all the techniques and everything to be able to get the finish. And I hope he goes for it more a bit more. Being, being, a, being, being careful at the same time, but he, I hope he goes for it uh, a lot more and gets a finish in front of his hometown. OK, lovely. And then obviously moving on to yourself now and your next steps. Obviously, um, you know, you, you suffered your first defeat um, your last time out against Alex Gustafsson. Um, I mean, in terms of like your confidence levels now, you're undefeated fighter prior to that. 
Uh, have you taken what you needed to take from that and are you now ready to move forward? I'd, after the fight, I had like about four days of being down and everything. But when I really thought about it, it came to me. I took nothing but um, positive stuff out of the fight and everything. And I kind of, I don't blame my, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as he was better than me or nothing. I blame myself for the fight, and um, because I got, I got my own reasons why what happened happened and, and that. But you know, I took, I took, I, I took nothing but per, per positive stuff out of that, and um, I've still got all my confidence even more and that because I know how I felt in the fight. I felt good in the fight and everything, and. Um, and I believe I know that I can I can hang with the best in the world, so you you know the, um, I got nothing but uh, nothing but, but confidence going into my next fight, which I will be finishing first like a lion. Okay, and, and then in terms of your your track now back to the the, the top of the division, um, in terms of your next fight, have you heard anything or is there anyone you have in mind that you think well yeah I'd like to fight him first and have you got a little track in your mind of how you want to get back to the top of the division yeah definitely i'll be back i'll be, I'll be back i'll be within i'll be within the top five by probably this time next year i want to have two more fights picking off two more people in the top 10 and then getting back into title, title contention uh, it's 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 like I, the, the my last fight was was a big jump as everyone knows and that and um i lost that fight but i before before that fight got offered to me, I'd had my plan of of how I was going to get to the top ten, which was going to be about three three or four fights, and that's so I'm going to be back now. Now I'm number eleven. I'm going to pick off the two two or three people to get back into the top top three, top five, or whatever, and then and then from there, you know, you know, because because like in in this division, anyone in the top five or even six can fight for the title. They're all monsters. It, is, it, is, it depends on on timing and stuff like that. So. Um, once I get to the top five, I'll, I'll have one. I'll have one more fight, and I hopefully I'll, I'll fight. I want to fight on the um, on the London card again next year, February, and um, then you know after that, after that I'll fight anyone, any, any anywhere in the world for the title. That's my plan. Lovely. And, and is there any? I'm not asking you to call anyone out here, but is there anyone potentially in mind that you're thinking? You know, you're looking slightly above in the rankings. You're thinking, yeah, I'd like to fight that guy. Yeah. Um, I've never said anyone's name, and I don't plan. And I don't plan to. I'll, I'll keep it between me and my team, and a selected few, and that who who, who I want to fight, who we have in mind, and that. So we're just waiting for a response from the opponent, and then and then everyone will know. Yeah, fair enough. And and can I just ask your thoughts on the rematch with Alex and and John Jones? Because obviously you know, you've been in there with Alex, you've 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 experienced what he's like as a fighter. You saw the first fight there. How, how do you think that's going to go? Now? How do you think it's going to play out? Do you know what? Like the first fight, I believe, other than myself, obviously, I believe Alex is probably the only person who uh, poses a real threat to the to the belt. Cormier, yeah, he does with his wrestling, but I, I really, I really don't think he can beat John Jones because he's. I think he's too short and everything. And I think John Jones got to, uh, loses his reach. Really well, I think to, to be able to affect John Jones, you need reach. You need need to be able to get in, inside uh, on him. He uses footwork really well, and and uh, he plays his own game. So uh, I think other than other than myself, Alex is the only one what can do what what can take the belt off of Jones. I think he's got the heart, he's got the will, and everything. And uh, I think it's going to be a great fight, mate. I don't I don't know. I, that that's one fight where I really can't call. I swear. I swear, because Alex is, I know, I know Alex is angry. I've spoken to him after this fight about the next fight and everything, and I know he's really angry, he's really going for it. And, uh, and you know, I, I just wish him the best and, I, and, and um, I'm hoping for a great fight. OK, and just, just to end up on, obviously there's always been this kind of desire, especially amongst the European MMA fans, that we get a champion, a UFC champion. So it's a big deal. Uh, and it will probably propel the sport forward even more in Europe. Um, if Alex doesn't pull it off, who, you know, obviously there's yourself, there's there's Connor in the featherweight division, there's, there's Brad as a flyweight. You know, who is going to be the first European UFC champion? <coughs> can can you predict something like that? I can't predict because this is MMA. You can't predict anything. But um, I think I think uh, Brad probably is uh, closest because he's uh, he what is he top five, top six or something in his division. 
if he wins this next fight, I think I think he could be fighting for the title next. Um, and I hope he wins. Uh, who else? Ross Pearson. Ross Pearson's uh, doing pretty well in his division. Conor McGregor. He's had two fights in the UFC. He's gonna he's gonna have his third tomorrow. And um, so who, so who knows? Um, being a, a big character and a big thing, I, I think he can dictate which fights he wants and, and, and stuff like that. And he, he could he could get to the top really fast. Um, myself, I believe I'm three fights, three fights away, two two or three fights away. Anything can anything can happen. Look, I fought the number two in the world in my last fight. I wasn't even ranked, so you know anything can happen. Absolutely. And, and then with Connor, do you not think there's an element of maybe uh, is he being could he be too fast tracked to the title? If that makes sense, is it better not for him to maybe build up a little bit more gradually? I think only he, only he knows him. He, he, him and his team know, know themselves. They're, they're they're smart people, and and I'm sure they know what they're doing. And um, I don't think I think he's got the skills and everything. I don't think he is is too fast for him. He, obviously, he's going to need experience in in the. Um, but he's a very confident person, you know. So. I don't. I don't think he's. He, it'd be too fast track. I think. I think maybe Brandao. Maybe two more fights than fight. Than fight for the title. Why not? Fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, thanks a lot for your time today, Jimmy. Looking forward to seeing you uh, climb back to the top of the uh, light heavyweight division.